Alrighty, sorry if my phone falls. I have it propped up on pillows and a chair, but <clears throat> I probably could have done this in the in the first video, but we're taking Haley's dead bonsai from a couple years ago when we got it at the Renaissance Festival. We didn't know anything about them, so he died unfortunately, but we're gonna See if we can get him out of here and uh, use this little wooden pot for my lime tree. I'm interested to see what type of I'm interested to see what type of root system this thing has made. I'm not quite sure how old it is. I would, I would assume no more than a couple of years. Um, that will be helpful. I will keep this and use it for my lime tree. This is just a simple little wooden pot that they made. Um, it'll work for now. But so, uh, let's see what this root system's like. I'm hoping some of the roots will stay intact. A lot of them feel pretty brittle. I have a pretty big chunk that just fell off. Lost my rock. <clears throat> Put that in the pot. Oh, and that's a shame, because look. This one's actually got a kind of cool root system. It's got a couple of thicker ones down there that you could have had exposed, used as surface roots. It would have looked really cool, would have made the tree look bigger. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure how long we had this thing before it died. I'm not sure how much growing it actually did since it came into our ownership, but yeah, so. What I'm seeing right there is it's, uh, I'm gonna trim back some of these just cuz yeah cuz if we could uh, if we could have used these thick exposed roots that would have been a real tree <laughs> this thing is just wrapped around the tree. This one singular root is just dominating. Yeah, we could have used that. I could probably cut this off too. <clears throat> We want to get some cleaner cuts off of these, get these bulbs off, get it flushed, flat to the surface, but yeah, you put that down in a pot and you have these growing up over the, once this gets thicker, you have this over the as surface roots, over the soil, that looks real cool. But, uh.
This looks like it's probably a clipping from a uh, from an older tree. It's a shame that he died. Baby, do we have any potting soil? Um, if you and Hope end up going to Lowe's, can you grab some? Well, if I don't have any potting soil, I'm afraid cuttings. Potting soil in a pot. I don't think I can buy pot at Lowe's. We'll figure it out. I'm sure there's at least one pothead at Lowe's. Yeah, very, very good root system. I don't think I'm going to use this table. I just hope that's it. Okay, cable. Can you see there? Yeah, it's alright. So, uh, let's see. Pretty strong root system. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't save any of this soil. But uh, let's check out this. Uh... Baby, do we still have that little baby rake? No. trying to be as gentle as I can with this. Let's see if we can get a lot of this soil out. <laughs> and so this particular tree was given to me by a regular at my job should come in a lot and we'd get to talking and he eventually one day we landed on our gardens no plants that we grow at home um, and she offered me a little lime tree sapling and uh, told her I would love it if she brought it in and gave it to me I would gladly accept the lime tree from her and so she did she brought it in and uh, gave me a couple of tips on how to make sure it survived through its little sapling phase and uh, it's not quite out of there so I hope I'm not ruining this tree's chance of survival but I think if I can get it potted and keep it in the sunlight make sure it gets water keep a close eye on it I don't think that uh, I will have too many issues right now I'm just gonna try to get this casing off without harming the roots it's the last thing I want it can be tricky though this net I don't know if you can see but a lot of the roots have started growing out of the netting so I'm trying to remove this without tearing those out with it it seems to be doing all right. I'm sure this netting was made to be easy to tear.
No one can see your, your uh, sarcastic smiles. Yep. Hope is talking about how she likes wearing masks at work. We're living in some odd times, folks. <clears throat> I think I've gotten most of that, uh, most of that netting off. Get some of this out of there. So I'm not I'm not very familiar with trimming roots. This will only be my second time doing it and my first time on this tree. Um, so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I know I wanna have a radial root system that means it's coming out away from the trunk like this and so it seems to be doing pretty good doing pretty well with that um, quite long I think that I can probably get rid of this big ass one that's growing down so low Trimming the root system of this tree. Can you see it? Have you trimmed a lot? No. Huh. And don't forget, a lot of it was lost in the uh, removal of the ground. They had a lot of roots that crept out of this and down into the ground out of the pot. Um, but yeah, that seems to be a pretty good root system. Um, but you definitely need some trimming, so let's see if we can... Brush these out away from the center. I might be doing something stupid, but I think if I cut this, I don't think I would be getting into too much trouble. Or maybe I'm killing the tree, let's find out find out in a couple years a couple years probably a couple months weeks maybe um. so I'm definitely afraid of over trimming these and I you know I wouldn't be surprised if later on I find out that I over trimmed it just with that but uh that's where we're at now so I'm going to need to trim these back a lot still because there's no way that's going to fit in this pot. So let's get them laid out over the pot. You want them to kind of branch out, reach all over the place, and then we'll snip back what we can't fit in the pot. So, quite a change there. I don't know if you guys can see how much I've left, but not a whole lot, and hopefully I haven't over-trimmed. So I think that that might be how I'm putting this in. Probably 
probably leave it at that for now. I'm gonna leave this to let it thicken up the, the trunk a bit. Alrighty, so uh, here we go. Let's put some... Hopefully, I'm, I'm sure this is probably like a cardinal sin, but I don't have another option right now. I'm gonna go ahead and stick him in here. And this is only temporary. He's not gonna be in here for too long. These might need a little bit more training. Well, I said I was worried I trimmed too much, and then I went and gone. I've gone and trimmed more. So <laughs> let's uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Them worked into the spread them out a little bit, work them into the soil. We'll pop some more soil in on top. And I think I might use those little blue rocks that uh, came with this setup. So the soil seems to be uh, almost like mulch with some dirt added to it. It's very large uh, chunks in there, but Spray this down with the hose and get all that off, but I don't think that looks too bad. I suppose I'll be using that as the front, but that is awfully wobbly. I need to keep my eye on it because obviously uh, it's not the most stable but uh we'll see how the roots grip and hold it in place hopefully i'll do a good job spread that over it Where did my rock go? There he is. Well, give him a bump right there. I'm gonna go water it down and I'll be right back. <laughs>
Alrighty, I gave that a nice misting, cleaned off the pot. There he is. And so this is the, the finished product. It's coming along quite nicely.